Well, this morning, Daybreak is live from San Marcos, and one of the most important parts of the community is the river, of uh, course. Well, it's less than 102 degrees inside the water, I understand, <laughs> if, I, if I've checked it <laughs> recently. There are some very special people who work very hard to keep that river clean and safe. Let's check back in with Hannah. How's it going? Good morning, guys. We are having a blast out here. And yes, the river, I mean, it is just the soul, the heart and soul of this community. In fact, in case you didn't know, San Marcos is actually the mermaid capital of Texas. This, I mean, just deep roots here. It all comes back to preserving the river. There's mermaids all over town, whether it's statues, murals, or in real life. We have the mermaids, y'all. They're all <laughs> laying down next to me. We're going to show you that in a moment. <clears throat> but first, the lady behind it all. This is July Moreno, and she is in charge, uh, the executive director, I should say, of the mermaids. Good morning, July. Good morning, good morning. It is so good to be with you. It's I good mean, to be here, too. I remember the first time I went to the Mermaid Ball, the Meadow Center, years ago. It's like a dream. I mean, it's just so incredible. Please explain to the good people why you guys have been doing this and kind of the history behind it. Sure. Uh, well, the Mermaid Festival, which is now called the Mermaid Capital of Texas Fest um, because last year we got our designation in May. Uh, so we are officially Mermaid Capital of Texas. Uh, we've been uh, producing this festival uh, for six years now. Uh, it would have been seven had it not been for 2020. But uh, And so this festival is really designed to be an identity destination event. We want to bring people into our town to celebrate our beautiful San Marcos River. Um, and of course, mermaids everywhere. Mermaids, mermaids, and mermaids. Um, the mermaid is really the symbol uh, for river guardianship. She is the protector of our San Marcos River. So when we celebrate uh, the mermaid, when we come out as a mermaid, we are really helping to champion uh, the protection and preservation of our San Marcos River. And looking back throughout history, you look at like the Aquamaid and like the deep, like way back in the day. Right. Talk a little bit about that and kind of how that plays a sure. part too. Sure, so this is really kind of a, a in honor of the Aquamaids. The Aquamaids were performers uh, at Ocarina Springs in the early 1950s. It started Ocarina Springs to probably the early 1990s. Um, and so we haven't had uh, their presence in San Marcos since. And so this was a way for us to honor uh, that history, very special history of San Marcos, but in a big way where um, it is now, you know, the Aquamaids were performers and mermaids now are seen as protectors of our San Marcos River. Protectors, I love the education aspect. And of course, Kenneth, oh, I love it. I, lo I just love the, mon and we were talking about how the monarch is endangered. Look at her, Laura, right? Oh, you guys are stunning. Look at them. I love the education aspect. You guys have been reading to children. Why is it important to educate our young people about taking care of our waterways? Sure, it, well, it presents a really wonderful opportunity here in San Marcos, a very unique opportunity um, to educate our children on the need to understand the reason why we need to protect this beautiful resource that we have running through our town. Um, so the mermaid is the messenger. Uh, to that uh, very important information. And we have found through our youth eco programming, which by the way, uh, we have three splash patch program dates uh, that are set. One is actually this Saturday, it's a half day camp uh, where children third through fifth grade can come out and learn about how they can be uh, superheroes and stewards of the river. Um, so we find it to be very important. It is the most important work that we will ever do as an organization. Um, and so the mermaids help to deliver that message. It is such a win-win combining fantasy with uh, science. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, July. And if you guys want to learn more about the upcoming festival, the ball, all that good stuff, these girls are busy, y'all. You can find them on Facebook. Uh, Mermaid, what is it? The capital? Mermaid, Mermaid Society, SMTX, and our festival is September 24th. Uh, so it's coming up. Come on to the parade and downtown street fair. Fantastic. Thanks so much, July. Sure. And a big thanks to these gorgeous mermaids. They are just stunning. I could stare at them all day. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Oh, I'm staring at them too. They <laughs> understood know. the assignment. It's about education and uh -huh. being stewards of the river, but I love the headpieces. I think you should try to try one on later on, Hannah. I think those are nice. Looking very cool. Thank you so much. The you know, headpieces. Yeah. Oh, chef's kiss. Yes. <laughs> chef's kiss. Well,